Okay. She said she'd fix you anything you wanted to eat. Started to bring yourself. Keish. Zoro. Zoro, stop. Give me that. No, you're not tearing that up. <laughs> you smell the peanut butter. She made a vegetable quiche. Will you have eaten a couple pieces of it? I don't know. Is she a good cook? Huh? Is she a decent cook? Yeah, she's a decent cook. How can you mess up quiche? All it is is cheese and eggs and vegetables. Mm, I think I've it up before. Cooked it too long or too high, it dried out. I don't know. Not enough salt, not enough oil. This tiny, tiny little potato made a sprout that's three feet long. Pretty crazy. I'm gonna plant that and see what it does. First thing we need to know about potatoes is choosing our seed potatoes. Best choice, certified seed potatoes from a nursery supply farm store, hardware store. Certified seed potatoes are gonna be disease free and generally guaranteed to grow. If you don't have certified seed potatoes or if you are a, kind of an advanced potato grower, you can save and sprout your own. Uh, storing potatoes for long periods of time to then sprout for replanting can be a little challenging. You gotta have certain temperatures, humidity, darkness. Generally you want very cool, dry conditions that are dark. Um, saving and sprouting your own potatoes is a great choice, um, but not everybody can do that, so just look for certified seed potatoes at the store. Um, if you try to use potatoes that you bought from the grocery store, your risk of disease is pretty significant. I would not recommend planting potatoes from the grocery store. A lot of times they're treated with compounds to inhibit uh, sprouts anyway, so you'll see little sprouts form and then they won't really do much. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend that. If that's your absolute only option is to um, grow potatoes that you got from the grocery store, I would try to find organic potatoes, potatoes from a local farmer's market, and I would plant them in containers. Um, that way, if there is some disease issue, it doesn't necessarily contaminate the whole garden. Um, two, planting dates, very important. Um, you want to make sure that you plant potatoes early enough so that they have at least, you know, 100, 120 days to grow before the weather gets too hot. Uh, potatoes generally will not form tubers if the temperatures are above 80 Fahrenheit. They do not like hot weather. So if you wait and plant potatoes too late and then it gets really hot, you might just get a bunch of leaves and not necessarily good potatoes. At the same time, you can't plant them too early if you live in a, a place that gets very heavy freezes. Uh, the above ground growth of potatoes will not tolerate temperatures below about 30. Um, sometimes if you plant the seed potatoes deep enough, um, the underground portions can tolerate temperatures into the mid 20s if they're heavily mulched. Uh, so you will see some uh, recommendations to plant potatoes up to six weeks before your last frost. Um, you can do that if you plant them deep enough. So yeah, potatoes do not like very hot weather. They also do not like freezing weather. Um, so give yourself enough time. If you live in a place that's high latitude or high altitude, your summers might be cool enough that you can plant them well after the danger of frost, and if your summers don't generally get above about 80, you could probably grow them throughout the summer. Um, I also plant potatoes in the fall. I have to wait till around October or so before the days are no longer above 80, and sometimes they still are. So I can plant them again in the fall, and because we don't get our first freeze until usually the end of December or early January, um, there's a narrow window in the fall where you can grow them as well. 
but uh, your fall daylight hours generally are going to be less, so they might not grow as fast and might not yield as well. Um, the last point probably to talk about is where to plant them. Um, you can plant them in containers. As long as those containers are, you know, at least seven to ten gallons, the larger the better. Some people do them in trash cans. Um, I would generally not recommend doing them in five gallon buckets. Um, there's a lot of people who like to do those because they're, you know, cheap and easy to find at the hardware store, but uh, the drainage is not ideal even if you drill holes. Also five gallons just isn't really enough room for a potato plant. So if you're going to do containers, I would go at least seven or 10 gallon nursery pots. Or if you get the fabric pots, grow bags online, those are very cheap, great option for potatoes to keep the roots nice and uh, well drained. You know, you can plant potatoes in huge uh, fabric pots, 20, 30, 40 gallons if you want to. Again, people also use trash cans sometimes. Um, you can plant them in a raised bed. Potatoes like uh, loose, well-draining soil, um, rich in potassium and phosphorus. Um, look for things like, you know, if you're going to do them in containers, I would use mostly potting mix. You can cut some potting mix with sand, but don't be putting too many, you know, heavy things in there like native clay soil or heavy manures or topsoil. Um, potatoes need real light, lightweight soil, so either a sandy, so a sandy loam or a potting mix. Um, potting mix can be expensive in raised beds, but uh, again, you don't want heavy soil for potatoes. So um, I think that probably sums it up, and now we'll go ahead and look outside. Welcome back to Primitive Organic Gardening Guitar. I figured now would be a decent time to squeeze in a super short video about planting potatoes. Um, I make a lot of longer garden videos that uh, it's mostly just me rambling about various things and uh, I know those aren't particularly popular so I'm gonna try to keep this one really short. Kind of one of these how-to videos. Everything you need to know about planting potatoes in hopefully under three minutes. Um, to start with, you wanna make sure that you choose good seed potatoes that are gonna be disease-free. I would not recommend just sprouting potatoes from the store. Um, that's gonna be fine once or twice, but eventually you might end up in a situation where you have all kinds of soil-borne diseases. So uh, choose certified seed potatoes from a farm store or a nursery supply, or uh, if you're comfortable with it, you can save your own potatoes from previous harvests, and as long as you're pretty confident they're disease-free, you can uh, sprout those. So these are some potatoes that I sprouted um, from an entire year ago. These would have been harvested around March or April of 2020. It's now February of 2021. And you can see some of these sprouts are way longer than um, is probably typical or ideal. I mean, some of these have three foot sprouts on them. So um, that is kind of a issue if you're saving your own potatoes. Hopefully these will do fine, but you do have to be careful with some of these delicate long sprouts. Um, I also have some potatoes that I harvested in my fall harvest. So these are only four months old or so. Um, you can see most of these don't have sprouts on them yet, but they're probably still fine to plant. They'll sprout underground. And then I have some certified seed potatoes from the farm store. Uh, these have small sprouts on them. Um, I think this one is also from the spring, maybe. Um, another interesting thing to look at is how the tiniest of potatoes can sometimes make a quite significant sprout. So yeah, choose uh, certified seed potatoes or confidently save potatoes from previous harvests. Don't just sprout stuff from the store. Um, you can plant potatoes in containers or raised beds, or if you have nice, loose, well-draining soil, possibly even in the ground. Um, I'm doing them in a raised bed this year. I just kind of threw this together with some four x four posts and some lumber. Um, I'm doing this on the cheap, mostly using things like topsoil, um, composted manure, which is only about 50 cents more than topsoil. Throwing a couple nicer things in there, mushroom compost. Also got some leaves, wood chips, um, some green material from the garden, a little bit of peat moss. Uh, there's some black cow manure over here. Um, and then on the very surface, I'll put down some nicer stuff like potting mix. Gonna throw a little bit of uh, organic fertilizers in there, um, just because potatoes can be fairly heavy feeders, especially in terms of potassium and uh, phosphorus, not necessarily nitrogen, but um, because I have so much woody material in here, um, I do need to make sure there's quite a bit of nitrogen. So yeah, I'm gonna plant potatoes in this raised bed. I also have some in some containers over here. If you're gonna do potatoes in containers, you probably wanna choose containers that are at least 10 gallons or more. Um, I've seen people do potatoes in five gallon buckets, but the yields are 
fairly uh, poor. Also, the plastic buckets can sometimes hold too much moisture and your potatoes might rot. I like to do them in fabric pots because my area is so wet. This is, I want to say, a 10-gallon fabric pot. There's a potato in there that's probably going to sprout pretty soon. I think this is a 7-gallon nursery container. There's a potato in there. I got them covered with some wood chips just because we've been having temperatures in the mid-20s. Um, but yeah, so I think that about sums it up. Um, when you go to plant your potatoes, you can plant them quite deep. Um, I'm probably going to plant some 10 to 12 inches in here because we still have four more weeks of possible frost. So if you plant them too shallowly, they can be damaged by frosts. Uh, some people are able to wait until after the danger of frost to plant potatoes if you live in a climate that doesn't get too hot. I'm in the deep south and our season for potatoes is incredibly short. Uh, potatoes will not tolerate temperatures under about 30. They also won't tolerate temperatures above about 75 or 80. Um, you'll still see above ground growth, but tuber formation tends to stop after temperatures are above mid 70s or 80s. Um, so you really want to think about your seasons with potatoes. If you're in an area that gets hot really quickly, you're going to have to plant them early. Um, in my area, we have frosts sometimes until the middle of March, and then we have 100 degree temperatures by May. Um, so our, like I said, our season for potatoes is incredibly narrow. If you are in an area where uh, it's going to get really hot really quick, you might want to think about planting potatoes well before your last frost, uh, up to six weeks before your last frost. Just plant them very deep. Uh, the above ground growth will not tolerate frost, but the below ground growth will. One last note about potatoes. Uh, some people cut them up into pieces. Um, you could take, you know, the potato here and see a couple of different eyes sprouting on it and cut the potato so that one potato turns into two or three. Um, I don't recommend that because my area is so wet and the uh, risk of disease is really high if you cut them. But there's people who will tell you that they get much better yields by cutting them. It also obviously saves a little bit of money. Um, if you're going to cut them, you might want to consider uh, dipping the cut uh, portions in sulfur or some type of uh, other natural organic fungicide. Um, if you're in a really dry area, uh, you can probably cut your potatoes into pieces with no problems and not have to worry much about disease. But like I said, my area is incredibly wet, so I'm probably not going to cut them. You can see this one uh, has got one, two, three, four, five, six seven uh, eyes that have sprouted on this one potato. A lot of people would probably cut this into maybe two or three pieces and have each one of those pieces produce a whole plant. Um, again, I'm not gonna cut mine just because my area is so wet and the risk of disease is so high. Um, if you don't cut them, you tend to get potatoes that are smaller and earlier. If you do cut them, you tend to get potatoes that tend to be a little bit larger. Um, in terms of actual yields per area of planted i don't know if there's any studies on that about whether you know cutting them into pieces really increases your yields or not uh, but it does save people some money i tend to get seed potatoes for really good prices so i'm not worried about it and i just plant mine whole um, i think i got seven pounds of seed potatoes here for five bucks um, and like i said i have quite a few that i saved um, from previous harvests that are essentially free to me so i will not be cutting mine but uh, if you're confident that you can cut your potatoes into pieces and not have them get diseases, go ahead and do that and you'll save some money. Um, I think that's about it. Um, just be careful if you plant potatoes that are already sprouted. These uh, sprouts are very delicate, so you don't want them to break off when you're planting them in the soil. Be careful about that. Um, but other than that, I think this video kind of covers everything you need to know about potatoes. Uh, it was supposed to be under three minutes. At least it's under 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, certified seed potatoes that are disease free or potatoes that you've saved from previous harvests that you know are disease free. Don't sprout potatoes from the store unless you're willing to take that disease risk. Uh, plant them in raised beds or big fabric pots um, unless you happen to live in an area that's got really good, loose, well-draining soil. Be very careful about your temperatures. Um, make sure that you plant your potatoes early enough so that there's going to be, you know, 100, 120 days of cool weather before, you know, you start to get uh, into really high temperatures. Again, they tend not to form tubers above about 75 or 80 degrees. So I think that's all you need to know about potatoes. Um, sometimes people have pests and disease issues. Potatoes are closely related to tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, so they're going to share all the same pests and diseases. Um, but if you get them in early enough, bug problems usually aren't that intense. Um, if your soils are really cool and wet, you might see more disease issues, but uh, overall potatoes are a fairly vigorous, hardy crop. Um, they should do well for you and in terms of return on investment it's one of the best things to plant in the garden you get a lot of calories out of potatoes as compared to other vegetable crops 
also pretty rich in uh, quite a few vitamins and minerals. So if you're doing the survival garden thing like I am, uh, potatoes are a much better choice than something like tomatoes. Um, so uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment or uh, send me an email.